this video is to teach you the basics of how to operate a standard speed or low speed flow machine. Please watch the entire video before attempting to run the machine. You may want to watch it more than once. This machine is commonly used in flow wax stripping, scrubbing, and buffing. With the proper attachment, it can be very versatile. You can also clean carpeting, sandwood floors, polished marble, or even grind concrete. You can identify this machine by the two rear transport wheels. When the machine is ready to operate, the rear wheels are off the floor and the entire weight of the machine is on the floor pad or brush. The basic concept of operating the machine is that if the weight is evenly balanced over the pad, when turning, it will stay in one place. If the weight is slightly more on the front of the machine, it will move to the right. If the weight is slightly more to the rear, it will move to the left. Balancing the weight is achieved by locking the handle into the lowered position and raising and lowering the handle slightly to balance the weight of the machine. The first step is to center the floor pad on the floor pad holder. If it is not centered well, the machine will bounce more than normal in operation. When the pad is centered, attach the pad holder to the machine. Lower the machine down carefully over the pad. Unlock the handle and lower it down. Hold the handle grips with arms straight at your sides. Lock the handle into place so it cannot move. It feels like you're bending over or your arms are overbent, it will cause operator fatigue. In both cases, readjust the handles so that both arms are nearly straight down. On a dry floor, spread your feet 15 to 18 inches apart, one foot slightly in front of the other for stability. With both hands on the machine, lean the handle against the body's forward hip. In order to avoid accidentally starting the piece of equipment, a button or switch must be pressed prior to pulling the switch levers. This must be done every time the switch levers are let go. Try to keep it in one location. When you are comfortable, let the machine move slowly to the right or left about 6 to 12 inches. Stop and return to the original spot. To stay in one location, remember to balance the weight of the machine evenly over the pad. Do not try to push it where you want to go. Let the machine move under your control. Continue practicing small movements until you are comfortable. This may take 15 to 30 minutes or more. Do not step in water until you are completely comfortable. Take extra care because the water will make the floor slippery. When the machine is in storage, always remove the pad holder or brush from under the machine. Otherwise, the weight of the machine will squash it and cause the machine to bounce unnecessarily. Mastering this skill is like riding a bicycle. It takes time. The use of a floor machine will greatly reduce labor time and improve the quality of any cleaning operation.